Okay, similarity transform. Diagonalization. Diagonalization is for a matrix A, we can decompose it as lambda, as inverse in this way. This is diagonalization. And this is possible for square matrix, for square. And here, distinct we assume a distinctive eigenvalues. So in this case, diagonal matrix appears to be lambda 1, lambda 2, eigenvalues, and all nothing. Then, let's think about what will happen if it's still a square matrix. Still a square matrix, however, it's repeated eigenvalues. For example, if there's 2, 1, 0, 2, then its eigenvalue is 2, 2. Then, given this matrix, do we able to describe it using the, this kind of form? So 2, 2, nothing, nothing, something, something. Fortunately, Unfortunately, we cannot do this. There is no such, uh, uh, this kind of diagonalization form. So here, in the S side, it was eigenvector was here. Eigenvector in columns. Although we cannot do like this, we can do like other form. Not diagonal, it's not diagonal, but triangular form. We can make it as a triangular form. And here, what goes in is generalized eigenvector. Here also, in the column, generalized eigenvectors goes in. And we may say similar to transform is more generalized version of diagonalization. And specifically, um, we say Jordan form or Jordan block form. Okay, so up to here it was square matrix. It was square matrix, M by M matrix. Then for the rectangular matrix, we need to apply the singular value decomposition. So in this class, we will see the similarity transform. And as an application of that, we will see how to calculate a kth power or exponential a using um, the apply by applying the Jordan form. Now let's go to the similarity transform. Let's stop here, J. Okay, the motivation is like this. What if a matrix cannot be diagonalized because of this? Then, we define a similar matrix as like, for example, A equal to M, B, M inverse. If we can write like this, if we can find M that links A and B, in other words, B is the same to, if we can write like this, then A and B are similar matrices. A and B are similar matrices. 
for example, if we have a differential equation a equal to ax, and if we have x equal to my, so m, another m, and x and y is linked through m, then x dot is m y dot equal to ax is a m y, which means y dot is m inverse a m y. So if x and y can be connected through m, then this original differential equation can be written like this. Then in the new state, another matrix, let's say B, represent all the things as A represented all the things in this differential equation. Then this matrix A and B has, they are called similar matrices. And similar matrix has two properties. One, they share the same eigenvalue. Two, eigenvector of A, eigenvector X of A is eigenvector M inverse X of B. Let's see that. Okay, let's say A has eigenvector x and eigenvalue lambda. Then A is equal to m b m inverse x lambda x. So B M inverse x equal to lambda is scalar, so you can come to the front. M inverse x. So we see a's eigenvector was x. A's eigenvector was x. B's eigenvector is m inverse x. And they share the same eigenvalue. So if we can represent any matrix in the similar form, then they share the same eigenvalue, and their eigenvector has some specific relationship. So those two matrix, we may say fundamentally, substantially the same matrix, but, but its appearance is slightly different. But substantially, they are, they are they're doing the same thing. For example, like this. Okay, let's say a matrix A is rotating the coordinate by 45 degrees. Let's say this is matrix A. Then matrix B is rotating the same thing, basically the same thing, but starting position is slightly different, something like that. So substantially, they are doing the same thing, but representation is slightly different. That's the similar matrices. In more detail, Let's see what they are doing. Geometrically. So if I write it in this way, then if a input is coming in, x, I may write like this. Then it's coordinate transformation in a sense that let's define small v coordinate and let's define large v coordinate
Okay. Here, x is defined on the small red coordinate. So this is v coordinate something. And matrix A is doing some kind of transformation, some kind of transformation in, in v coordinate, small v coordinate. So it's changing small v to small v. We talked about it in a way that it's stretching or stretching, scaling as amount of eigenvalue in the direction of eigenvector. In the last lecture, we said that A is what A is doing is stretching or shortening the ve given vector in the direction of eigenvector by the amount of eigenvalue. That's what A is doing. But they are doing in the same coordinate, in red coordinate. What similarity transform is doing is that given V, first matrix, if this is diagonalization, you may imagine that this is its columns are eigenvector, right? So it's doing coordinate transformation to the eigenvector if it's diagonalization. So it's doing coordinate transformation V to V. Then lambda is eigenvector if it's diagonalization, so it's stretching or shortening. And that's, do, that's done in V to V. Then last M is converting V to small v. So input is relative to red coordinate. Output is also relative to red coordinate. So basically the same, but it's, it's details. Intermediate procedures are done, can be described as coordinate transformation. So let me give you an example. Okay, example. A is one by two. This is A, and if we calculate the eigenvalue, one is one and the other is nothing. So this is lambda, and we get cosine 45, sine 45, minus sine 45, and cosine 45, and cosine 45, minus sine 45, sine 45, cosine 45 inverse. So this matrix can be uh, decomposed like that. This means that if we draw like this, red coordinate, and cosine 45 minus cos 45, this as V1, and cosine 45, sine 45, cosine 45, V2. Okay, this is direction of eigen, eigen vector of given matrix A. And scaling, in the direction of V1, it's scaling by 1. In the direction of logic V2, it's scaling by nothing. So here, and let's see what M, M inverse is doing in this case. Okay, M inverse. This is changing from red coordinate to blue coordinate. So given blue coordinate something, is changing red coordinate something. For example, if I put one nothing here, it's inverse the same too.
m x p ah uh, m hmm m inverse x v ah uh, yeah let's say m large x v as m x v let me write it red. Okay, then if I put one nothing, one nothing, then if I multiply mxv oh I'm sorry it was my mistake cosine minus sign cosine not its inverse its original form Okay, sorry. It's M inverse. Okay, this is it. Then if I put one nothing, then it's one nothing, cosine sine, so root one by one, root one by one. So this indicates that This vector, this vector one nothing is one by root two in the v one direction and one by root two in the v two direction. In other words, let me do another example: zero comma one transpose. This is. 0, 0,1 is minus 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2. So this has, this 0, 0,1 has minus 1 by root 2 in the v1 direction and root 1 by root 2 in the v2 direction. Or 1.1,1. 1, 1, 1, 1,1 is Nothing. One, comma one. One. One comma one. Sign root two. Oh, just root two. So one comma one. has v1 component as 0, v1 com low v1 component, and v2 component as root 2. In other words, here its basis is small v1 and v2. So representing, representing one given black vector, black vectors, relative to the basis of Red small v1, red small v2, this is its representation. And if I put m inverse, then this is doing coordinate transformation. So it's describing relative to another basis, large v1 and v2. So this is changing from coordinate transformation from small v2 large v and then this is doing something this is doing something in the basis of large v to large v so in the direction of v1 it's scaling just do the put it the put the same in the make the, make make its length to be the same and in the direction of v2 it makes it nothing then, after doing that in this coordinate, then it's changing coordinate to v2, small v. 
So it's basically doing coordinate transformation. So we can see what's happening in here in detail one by one. So it's geometry interpretation of similarity transformation. Of course, it's a special case when we put when we put this as eigenvector and put the diagonal eigenvalues. Okay, you have uh, any questions so far? Question from Padikeo. Have you answered all of them? Let's go. 그냥 다시 한번 쭉 설명하면 어, 우리 어떤 매트릭스가 있으면 어, 그 매트릭스를 그 매트릭스를 다른 매트릭스 여기 이게 B죠 다른 매트릭스하고 어, 연결을 시킬 수가 있습니다 연결을 시킬 수가 있는데 그럴 때 이제 연결이 M이라는 것과 M 인버스 폼이라는 걸로 연결이 되면 되면 우리가 그두 매트릭스를 시밀러 시밀러 매트릭스라고 하는 거죠. 그래서 특별히 뭐 그게 어떤 경우든 다될수 있지만 우리가 특별히 요 B라는 텀에서 요걸 다이어곤할 텀을 알겐 밸류로 놓고 이 M이라는 텀을 알겐 벡터로 놓으면 항상 이렇게 연결이 될 수도 있죠. 언제 얘가 알겐 벡터가 두 개, 알겐 밸류가 디스팅트하게 두 개일 때는 항상 이게 되죠, 그죠? 그래서 딱 그렇게 될때 얘가 뭐를 하는지를 해석을 해봤더니 해석을 해봤더니 결국은 원래 A라는 놈이 하는 역할 이거는 이제 몇 가지를 다 동시에 퉁쳐서 한 거죠. 퉁쳐서 한 거를 가만히 이제 그 지오메트릭 표현에서 하나하나 봤더니 결국 A, AX라고 우리가 적으면 AX라고 적으면 그냥 뭐, 뭐가 일어나는지도 모르겠는데 하여간 AX라고 적으면은 이게 아이겐 벡터 쪽으로 스케일링을 아이겐 밸류만큼 하고 또 다른 아이겐 벡터 쪽으로 스케일링 아이겐 밸류만큼 하는 거 그냥 퉁 튀어 나오는데 그거를 이렇게 어, similar transform, 혹은 요 경우에 있는 diagonalization으로 딱 나눠 놓고 보니까 하는 게 coordinate transform이더라. 그래서 요 까만 거를, 요 까만 거, 요놈 봅시다. 요 까만 거를 요 red에 대해서 describe 했을 때는 이렇게 되지만, blue에 대해서 describe 하면 이렇게 되잖아요. 그죠? 그래서 요거는 곱하기 1을 하고, 요거는 곱하기 0을 하고, 요거는 곱하기 1을 하고, 요거는 곱하기 0을 하고, 그럼 0, 0이네요. 그죠? 그러고 나서 다시 빨간 거 기준으로 다시 변환시켜주는 그런 역할을 이제 시뮬레이트 트랜스폼이 하더라. 물론 요거는 다이아고날레이제이션의 똑같은 개념이에요. 시뮬레이트 트랜스폼이 항상 이렇게 돼야 되는 건 아니에요. 이렇게 돼야 되는 건 아니에요. 다이아고날 폼이랑 똑같이 이제 하면 뭐 그렇다는 거죠. 그래서 뭐 이것만 있을 수 있는 거 아니죠. 예를 들어 이거를 여기서는 이게 B고 이게 A라서 A, B가 시밀러 했지만 우리가 또 다른 C를 찾을 수도 있어요. B가 아닌 또 다른 C를 찾을 수도 있는 거예요. 그러면 당연히 M도 바뀌겠죠. 이게 M, B, M 인버스였으면 C면 뭐 K, K 인버스 뭐 이런 식으로 K가 또 바뀌겠죠. 그죠? 자, 여기까지 질문. 조금 더 해봅시다. 오케이. Then it doesn't need to be always B diagonal form, especially if the eigenvalues are repeated here. In other words, if there is just one eigenvalue, repeated eigenvalues, then we cannot do like this. In that case, we need to find C, which is as similar as possible to this kind of diagonal form. So we try to make it as as close as diagonal. But it cannot be diagonal. 
So we find triangular matrix for repeated eigenvalues, for example, like this. Triangular matrix. So that's triangular form with a unitary matrix B. Okay, let me write a theorem. There is a unitary matrix M equal to U. Unitary unitary matrix is unitary matrix is a complex matrix with orthogonal orthonormal columns. Orthonormal columns. If it's a real case, you may think of it as just orthogonal matrix. Real case, just orthogonal matrix. There is a orthogonal matrix U, or there is a unitary matrix U. But for convenience, let me say orthogonal matrix because it's more um, easier. Let me just think about real case. There is a orthogonal matrix U such that U inverse A U equal to T is triangular. Then the eigenvalues of A appears along the diagonal of this T. Let me say of T. Okay, so what we said is that A can be written in this form, or it could be M or inverse, it doesn't matter. Let me put like this. So in the previous case, it was a distinctive case. But let me think about uh, this kind of thing. Then if we consider the determinant of eigenvalue, 2 minus lambda minus 1, 1 minus lambda, then lambda square minus 2 lambda uh, plus 1. So lambda square minus 1 equal to nothing. So lambda 1 is lambda 2 is equal to 1. So eigenvalue is 1. Repeat it. Thinking of an eigenvector, eigenvector is 2 minus 1, minus 1, 1 minus 1, C1, C2, they should make nothing. So eigenvector is if C1 equal to C2. So eigenvector 1, eigenvector 2 is just constant, constant. So if I make them unit, then I may write 1 by root 2, one by root two. Repeated eigenvalue. Repeated eigenvectors. Then you may try to write like this. And and if you think about it, it's not the same. This means we cannot diagonalize this kind of thing with eigenvectors. You cannot do that. Then let's find, instead of that, here A equal to U T U inverse. There is a T triangular matrix with its diagonal term of eigenvector, eigenvalue. That means for the given same matrix, there is T. Where the diagonal term is the same 
eigenvalues. But other component I do not know. What we know is it's triangular. So here is nothing, one, one, something, something inverse. So this theorem guarantees that this kind of form exists. Although I do not know what will be inside. The com each component I do not know. But the theorem guarantees that it can be represented like this. So here, it's a triangular form. Here, specific columns. And it's some, some inverse of those columns. Then I may fill the blanks that if we find it using specific method, Okay. Then this is what we say generalized eigenvector. So we made it succeed to decompose it as M, not M here, U T U inverse, where U is where U is orthogonal matrix in real sense, or Hermitian matrix, unitary matrix. Then you may ask a question, when, when it is possible to make a diagonal, when it is impossible to make a, a diagonal? For what matrix, for what kind of matrix A, we can make a diagonal like this, and what kind of matrix we cannot be, we have to make it as a triangular form. We, we have need to have some kind of decision rule. So the question is, for which matrix are t equal to lambda? For which matrix is, uh, for which matrix is, let me say, for which matrix is t, t in the center part is lambda. Here, t is equal to lambda, but here, t is not in equal to lambda because lambda is diagonal for. For that, we define normal matrix. A matrix n is normal, If it commutes with n Hermitian, Hermitian is for real, for real, for real, real case is n transpose. For a complex case, is Hermitian. Conjugate. We need to conjugate for inside components. That means if it com commutes, then n h. N and N H equal to N H N. Then we can change the order so it's commutative. If this is satisfied, then we say that as normal matrix. For such matrix, and no other, only for those matrix. For such matrices and no order, the triangular form T, U inverse normal U is diagonal. Okay. <coughs> so in this case, normal matrix has Normal matrix has complete set of eigenvectors. Eigenvectors, complete set of
normal vector has complete set of eigenvectors. So if dimension is 3 by 3 or n by n, there are n distinctive eigenvectors. Then this is satisfied. Then it's normal vector. And only normal vector, no others, only normal vector, if we do the triangularization, that triangular matrix is diagonal. Otherwise, we say with defective. If it's not normal, we say defective. So for example, a normal matrix is 2, 1, minus 1, 2. So if we do the, this kind of triangularization, then we may have u and diagonal term and u inverse. Here it's diagonal term. For defective matrix, like this or like this, which have just one eigenvector, not two eigenvectors, one eigenvector. They don't have a complete set of eigenvectors. Then it should be u some triangular form and u inverse. And we say this as defective matrix. And it's normal. And now we want to we want to make this kind of defect, defective matrix as close as diagonal form. We want this uh, triangular matrix as close as diagonal form. The closest form is Jordan matrix, Jordan block. For example, for 2 by 2 case, there's not much difference, but if it's larger case, we want to make a one Jordan block as close as diagonal. So we put repeated eigenvalues on diagonal. And make it this to be nothing. And we, we want to put minimum, minimum something on this side. That's 1, 1, 1, and all other components is 0. So it's triangular matrix, but it's very close to the diagonal form. This is Jordan block. So we can constitute the center part as combination of Jordan block. One Jordan block, Jordan block 1, the other Jordan block, Jordan block 2, and Jordan block 3, blah, blah, blah. So it's, this is the best that we can do for given defective matrix. Just any square, any square, arbitrary defective matrix, we can decompose it in this way. So each Jordan block is triangular, and it has like this. Sometimes it has 1, possibly 1, and all 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So it's very close to diagonal. Okay. 일단 여기까지 녹화하고 검찰아. 여기까지 일단 끊어주고 질문 좀 받을게. 오케이. Okay. So. In case, in case, um, in case the matrix is defective, then we need to do the decomposition using Jordan form. The Jordan form, when A is defective, 
then the columns are generalized eigenvector. 아까 제가 잘못 말했어요. 이게 조단 form일 때 generalized eigenvector예요. 조단 form. The columns are generalized eigenvectors. Then, what is Jordan form? Okay, let's say if S has, or A has S independent eigenvalues. S independent eigenvalues, oh, eigenvectors. Eigenvectors, right? Eigenvectors, not value, eigenvectors. Then this A matrix, it is similar. This A matrix is similar to J. It is similar to A. Jordan block matrix, matrix with S blocks. J is M inverse AM, which is block one, block two, blah, 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 block S block. And other components are nothing. Each Jordan block Ji is a triangular matrix. That has single eigenvalue and only one eigenvector. So Jordan block J i is Lambda 1, lambda i, lambda i, blah, 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 lambda i. And here, 1, 1, blah, 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 1. And all the component is nothing. This is Jordan block. For example, let me say there are two eigenvectors, one, two eigenvalues, lambda 1 and lambda 2, two eigenvalues. And the first eigenvalue have, first eigenvalue have a, uh, a let's say, lambda 1, lambda 1, lambda 1. Lambda 1, lambda 1, lambda 1, lambda 1, lambda 2. Lambda 1, lambda 1, lambda 1, lambda 1, lambda 2. Two eigenvalue. And repeat it by four times. Three, one, one, three, one, 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 one. Algebraic multiplicity, geometry multiplicity. 
algebraic multiplicity, geometric multiplicity, characteristic polynomial. OK. OK, for five, five by five matrix, there is repeated by four times and repeated by one times. And this may have one eigenvector. Case A, this may have one eigenvector, alpha, let's say. Or this may have two eigenvector. Let's say this is, this corresponds to three by three. This corresponding to three and this corresponding to one. And there should be one eigenvector, E alpha, beta, gamma, let's say. OK. For case A, there are two, one, two. There are two distinctive eigenvectors. So there are two Jordan blocks. And for the first Jordan block, first Jordan block is lambda n1. Lambda is equal to, let's say, OK, lambda 1, lambda 1, lambda 1, lambda 1, lambda 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. OK, this is for case 1 for the first eigenvalue, first Jordan block. And the second Jordan block is just lambda 2. So two Jordan blocks because there's two distinctive eigenvectors. Here, there are three distinctive eigenvectors. So there should be three blocks, Jordan block 1, Jordan block 2, Jordan block 3. Let's don't think about it. For the two eigenvalues. So given one eigenvalue, there could be multiple eigenvectors. So Jordan block is corresponding to the number of vectors. So case B, one, two, three eigenvectors. So one, two, three blocks. And for case A, there's one, two eigenvectors. So one, two Jordan block. And each Jordan block has this kind of form. And for defective matrix A, we can find Jordan matrix, Jordan block matrix J that satisfies this relationship. How to find J? That's the other story. What we, what we say is that we can, there exist. And we will prove something using J instead of A. OK? So, for example, a triangular matrix T and a matrix arbitrary matrix A and another lower triangular matrix B, all of them are defective, and all of them leads to the same J. And all of them have the same eigenvector 1. So although the matrix is different, their similar matrix could be the same. In this case, generalized eigenvector may be different, but the Jordan form could be the same. Another example is here, eigenvalues are 0, all 0. 0, 0, 0. They are eigenvalues. And for matrix B, Here again, eigenvalues are zero. All zero. It's the same, but 
but the difference is number of eigenvectors. Here, eigenvectors are your one eigenvector. Here, there are two eigenvectors. Then, if I constantly draw the matrix, draw the matrix A, and here, one Jordan block. So one Jordan block. One, one, zero, 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 zero. Where they are the eigenvalues. One Jordan block. Here, two Jordan blocks. Eigenvalues on the diagonal. And here, one, zero, 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 zero. Okay, so they have different uh, Jordan blocks according to the number of eigenvectors. And one good thing of Jordan block is that because it's very simple for quite organized, well organized, and it's very simple for, we can easily find J Jordan blocks kth power. Jordan blocks kth power, for example, if it's 3 by 1, Jordan blocks kth power is. Given like this. And similarly, exponential of Jordan block by t is given to be exponential lambda t, t exponential lambda t, half t square exponential lambda t, zero exponential lambda t, t exponential lambda t, zero, zero exponential. Lambda t. So using those properties, uh, we can do something. And one good thing is that Okay, I will cover it in, when we prove it. Okay, so summing up the um, similarity transform, let's sum up the similarity transform then. Summing up the similarity transform. First, if A is diagonal, diagonalizable, if A can be diagonalized, if A is diagonalizable, then the column of S are eigenvectors. And we have S inverse A S equal to diagonal lambda four with eigenvalues. Here A is normal matrix. And for defective case, or even for normal case, let's say defective plus normal as arbitrary, A is arbitrary. Then the unitary matrix U can be chosen so that U inverse 
AU equal to some triangular form. Of course, you can make normal matrix as a triangular form too, but it's unnecessary. Makes the problem more difficult. Three. More generalized is A is arbitrary. And the columns of M include generalized eigenvectors. of A and draw the form is given M inverse AM is block diagonal although it's not a diagonal matrix but block by block block by block diagonal so it's block diagonal for square matrix. For square matrix. So this is similar to transform. That's in this case, it's distinctive eigenvectors. Complete eigenvectors if we cannot do that we can make it triangular among the triangular forms the most simple triangular form is Jordan form and then M is generalized eigenvectors Next topic is singular value decomposition. Okay, 일단 여기서 범철아 끊어줄래? 여기까지 질문 좀 받을게요.